Hello peoples, this is Ben and I, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. And this is what, the uh, 20th episode, I think? Uh, so yeah, my battery is still over there, I haven't really taken the time to make that go down. And okay, I'm actually down. <laughs> First time in a while that I've seen non-full hearts on the loading screen, but who cares? Or loading screen, the menu save screen. Whatever. Uh, anyway guys, uh, in the last episode, we actually went around and found all the key pieces of the thingy that you could see over in the left side under my ruby count. Uh, and got a bunch of stuff. We got all the pieces for it. We got a few goddess cubes. Uh, one thing I'll note that I actually noticed while watching some of NCS's videos, you actually take this and you throw this up closer. We'll see, the bomb will actually land on the ledge in front of the rocks up there. So if you guys are having trouble timing that, uh, like I had I had to throw like two or three times to get it. Just a little side note, but anyway, in this episode, we are heading into the temple. Finally. I love how the way that one opens. I don't know, I, I've always had like a thing for gears. Like just old style gears and cogs like that. I don't know, they always just seem so cool to me. Oh god, it's a wave of heat. Hit, hit in the face with a wave of heat. Yeah, that's like me coming out of my classrooms at in my college now. Ooh, and the ember just breaks itself off, off of his ear. God, look at that. It looks like it's just lava. Looks like he's about to walk in lava. Don't do it, Link. Your life is worth living. Seriously. You walk in that lava, the whole world's gone. God, it's like I walk out of, I walk out of the buildings into like the open air, and on some days it's just like, ugh, just hit by a wave, like literally a wave of heat. Um... And I laugh because I watched some of NCS's videos and we got a statue right here off the bat. And I watched some of NCS's videos and he last, uh, he's just saying how it's, uh, how it's too hot that it's like 74 degrees or whatever. And it's like, oh my god, 74 degrees is like nice and cool for me. Because I live here in Southern California, he's from like Wisconsin and all these other places. Where it's freaking cold, he's over and more towards the east side of the world. Or the US, the east side of the world, god no. Um, no, that's a lot hotter. But, and I just noticed these were elephants. I don't know if I noticed that in my first play that those were actually elephants. But we got some keys. A uh, keys? And you guys, uh, as you saw as we entered here, actually, this is the... Oh, hello there. This is apparently the Earth Temple. It's like they're deliberately trying to... I don't know, like, they're deliberately trying to make the game different from the older games. Like, oh, this isn't a fire temple. No, even though everything here... Suggest fire completely. It's just fire, fire, lava, fire. It's like everything the fire temples have always been and always will be. But no, this is the earth temples. You're underground, kind of. You're you're under a mountain, so I don't know if you consider that underground or not. And scary away, dude. My partner's gone missing. Those red guys are everywhere. I never should have come here. Yo, oh, it's you again. Come all this way in search of your friend, eh? That reminds me. Before I came in here, I saw a weird-looking blonde girl getting dragged away. Aw, oh, dude, no. Well, at least I know she's here. Don't even dream about going in the rescue. The baddies are everywhere. If you want to live to live again one day, you should head for home, pal. I can't do that, man. I got my girl to save. Or I got a girl to save. It doesn't matter for me. I'm too protective. Any girl, really. But, um... Uh, I was starting to think of what exactly I was saying, but... Oh, jeez. Hi there. Come here, try that again. Jerk. <laughs> um, anyway, uh... <clears throat> yeah, I was trying to think of what exactly I was saying, but I wasn't quite saying anything in particular. I think do some skillful jumping here. Oh, jeez. A geese? I don't know why I said it like that. It's not a bee. That's how I just said it. Anyway, we got this big drawbridge looking thing here. Uh, can't do much now. But, we got some ropes here. Slice one. Oh, there we go. And got one more to slice on the other side too. And slice that one. And... Oh, come on now. Now right there, the door kind of trolls you right there. Don't need to say right there twice, dude. Anyway, now we get to use the handiness of the beetle. Use his little maneuverability. I'm flying, just keep flying, just keep flying, just keep flying, and actually aim for your target. And my beetle continues flying off. I can hear him fluttering in the background. And now I can't see him too far away. 
Hello again, Beetle. And we got through here, and oh, looks like we got kind of a Ocarina of Time comeback here, guys. A little flashback. Take back, knock back, whatever you want to call it. Master, I'm detecting a new enemy's head. They, they appear to be creatures of very significant physical ability. Sounds like my kind of creature. Z to target the enemy, and yeah, 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 I know. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, that is actually one thing you can do. Uh, if you lock onto an enemy and press down the D-pad, I don't know if I talked about this before, but Master, the batteries. Not what I wanted to hear. Target lock Liz Alphos. Yep, guys, Liz Alphos. One of the earliest mini bosses of Ocarina of Time. This unmistakable monster is equipped with an arm guard made of hard iron. Great physical prowess makes it difficult to predict its movements. Yeah, these guys are very quick in this game, and they don't actually have a sword, and they, they're not nearly as awkward <laughs> as they were in the first game, anatomy wise. You'll need to anticipate the direction of its arm guard to successfully land an attack on an exposed angle. With zero the enemy type, I'm able I am unable to analyze the battle perfor performance rating. Jeez, my words. Rating was disappointed due to insufficient data. Yep, but that's it right there, guys. As you can see, the self was actually Oh! Whoa, that was close. Oh, I'm getting lucky here. Actually, I will want to get back. Come here, come here. No, no, it's these jerks will get away from the lava. Come here. Now you'll notice they'll start to laugh at you like that. But keep hitting them. And eventually they drop their tail. You get a lizard tail. It's the tail of a large lizard with a spike ball at the end. Sure, it's a little gross, but you never know when you might need one. True, true. Now we get yet another collectible for our list, guys. Lots of them here. Oh, what's this? Ooh, got some Eldnor. Some rubies. Pretty nice. But yeah, those guys, uh, trust me, they're not nearly as easy as I made them right there. That's probably one of the best times I've ever fought against them. I mean, I dodged his counterattacks and everything. Usually, the first time I fought them, oh my god, those guys ruckus the hell out of me. Um, actually, one thing I do want to check. Uh, plus 600, how much can sold? Okay, it tells me I'm full. Okay, I can go over a thousand. Okay, I was worried that, because you get a decent number of rubies in here, especially if you dig out all the spots. You get a decent number of rubies in this place, guys. Like, a couple hundred, maybe, if you're lucky. Uh, I was just wondering if I was going to go to the cap and waste some of those rubies, but... Nothing too difficult. There's something up there. I have no idea what that is. Oh. And so, some people may, want, may be wondering, No, can't really jump across that. There's nothing over there, either. So, you may be wondering where the, where the hell you can go. If you look closely, you'll notice those are actually bombs over there. Uh, you can use your slingshot. Oh, hello. You can use your slingshot, like, which is why there were slingshot seeds right there, showing like, hey, you can use this. But, might as well give the beetle some more time here. Actually, I probably will use the slingshot if I get the chance, like, just whenever I can. Because honestly, uh, the slingshot doesn't get is one of the items that you don't use nearly as much as the others. I mean, you still use it a decent amount of time compared to some of the other games, like Ocarina of Time. But not nearly as much as some of them. But anyway, we got this giant statue eyeball thing here. And Link looks very funny. I always just love doing this, like just having him go in a circle. He continues with his momentum. Uh, one thing you want to know is don't really keep running in the same direction uh, for the sa for just a long amount of time. Eventually, uh, eventually Link will get closer and closer to the edge, and you can fall off uh, as long as you're on your toes. It's kind of hard to fall off, but okay. Let's see with this. Come on, come back down, come back down before it blows up my hands. I'm gonna throw that up there. Oop. Ah, and it rolled off the other side. Okay, no, put that away. That's way too soon. This one, you kind of do got to get some timing. I don't believe this is required. I'm, uh, I know there's a chest in there, but if I remember correctly, that's some pretty decent stuff. Don't fall off. Damn it. I'm sucking at this. Oh, that was a bit too early. Stay, stay. Ah. Okay, guys. Take it from me. Just wait until the spout stops and then it comes down there you go throw it in the beginning so it doesn't so easily roll off the other side and we're good and the left one was good didn't quite make sense actually saying at that time as it usually does but whatever what do we got what do we got what do we got honestly 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 what do we got what do we got now we get a golden skull, nice. I believe that was the, no, the monster crawl. The robster crawl. 
Monster Crawl was the first one we got. But yeah, guys, we actually got our third Golden Skull Array. Uh, yeah, I guess. Link, you have a death wish. Uh, anything useful over here? A heart that I now need because of Link's random obscurity. Uh, I completely lost my train thought. Um, yeah, I don't know. And I like how we're going around on a statue's eyeball here, basically. So yeah, just release the control stick every once in a while. You can actually run over these fire guys. Oh, that's gotta hurt. And he let me on fire. No, I want to hurt. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna hurt. And I jump down from here. Uh, nothing much over here. So, I did. Blast! I must have dropped it earlier. It's kind of sad running over those frog things. What's like? God, and it even raises up the giant rock they're on as if there's like some object under you. Hey, nice time, pal. It's me, Let. Yeah, I remember you, dude. You showing up here must mean we're connected somehow. You know, like fate or something. Anyway, do me a favor and get my bomb back, okay? What? I was behind that rock looking for treasure when those creeps showed up. I panicked and hit the road, but it looks like I dropped it. Ah, uh, that sucks, man. It's a bag for carrying around bomb flowers. Can't imagine not having one. Oh, hey, I guess I don't have to imagine it because I lost mine. Anyway, it's back there. Do me a favor and get my bomb bag back, will you? What, you can't go get? Come on, man. Don't let the buckle blend scare you. Look, there's one right here and you're fine. See, I wonder, will he run away from this? Oh. <laughs> yep, he'll run away, alright. But... Oh, jeez. Another one, and he has nothing. Uh, what the heck? There's a ladder here. I actually can't remember what's, what this is for. Is there a chest up here? Or... Some pots. Some rubies. Huh. Nothing really special up here. Oh, well, to show you there's a platform over there. I don't quite know how to get... To oh, wait, maybe. I don't know why I'm doing this. I probably shouldn't be. But, who knows. If it's this out of the way, maybe we'll get lucky and it'll just be Eldnor and some... Oh, it's a fairy. Come here, fairy. Hello. Even though I didn't quite need you, but thank you anyway. And we got some rubies. Ooh, a red ruby. Nice. Got four, or 30 rubies right there, sorry. And so, basically, guys, since we have another bomb we could boulder, let's roll this bomb through here and shove an ammo. <laughs> He's like, is it safe to come out? And we opened up the path forward, because apparently, unlike him, we can't just dig anywhere we want to. I mean, look at that. He was going through, like, solid ground. He was going through this flooring, too. And, guys, right here, we have a real throwback. To an Ocarina of Time moment. Come on, you guys got to remember this one. Yeah, look at that. I ju I just did that. Yep. Well, let's see how this is gonna turn out. Oh, look at him cracking his shoulder. He's like, oh, let's take him on. And so we got the Lizalfos here. Wait for them to start laughing at you, then just smack the crap out of them. One little tip, uh, if you guys... Ooh, that one went down really fast. Now, this battle can be very hard to see how one of them... One of them will typically leave you alone somewhat while you're facing another. Uh, generally, if you stab at these guys, more often than not... Sorry, I just, I just had to be quiet for that. Dun, 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 dun. It just ends off the battle so epically, but so subtly. Anyway, um, yeah, one of them will generally leave me alone, but God, I don't know why I'm doing so well against these guys before. They, I, I'm just gonna be frank here. They ruckused my ass when I tried this <laughs> before, I swear. And we got the bomb bags. You got the bomb bag. As you can see, we got the bomb bag there, but uh, apparently it doesn't really have any bombs here. What the hell is that? It's the Monkey King, it's like Hanuman. Ugh. Hey, jump back here. Hmm. Wonder if these are any implications of stuff or not stuff was Liz Alphos. I love how that I love how Zelda enemies have like that their generic naming structure, like Stal is usually anything undead, like the Staldras, Stalfos, Stalfos Knights, Stal Children, all that stuff. And then uh anything with Alphos is generally a knight, like Stalfos, Liz Alphos, all that stuff. Anyway. Hey, you found my bomb bag! Sorry to put you through that. I guess I owe you one now. Yeah, especially after having to go through two less elves. Those things are annoying in this game. Not like Ocarina of Time. <laughs> so let me have it. 
What's now? You want to borrow it so you can go deeper in the volcano? All right, you're looking for your friend. You should have put yourself out there getting this far. Hey, I would for any of my friends. That reminds me, how's my pal? <laughs> no idea. He's worried for you, man. He just ran off into the volcano. He's way back there. He's worried about me? What kind of pal am I putting him through that? Hey, that's a true friend right there. You must be worried too, not knowing if your friend's dead or alive. Dude, don't don't say something like that. That's mean. It's gonna make that's just gonna make someone like me worry. It's gonna make me paranoid. I'm not letting you borrow my bag though. All it? Nope. I'm giving it to you. Just don't blow yourself up. Hey, thanks, man. You're a real pal. So that's why I like the NPCs in this game. See, why can't we have a world like the Legends of the World? I'd be willing to take on some evil malevolent force is trying to destroy the world every once in a while if we could just have societies that aren't at each other's throats trying to kill each other all the time look at this he doesn't even know me he just knows i have a friend in need and he's given me one of his favorite possessions that he needed needed help getting back in the first place plus he's always giving me these tips stuff in the goron what about gorko why can't we have a society like this gam don't even start anything about the whole human thing now you got my bomb bag go find your friend thanks man i will now, uh, okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you something. Knowing me, that bag's probably that bag's probably empty. That bog. So let me give you a little something to get you started. And we get five bomb flowers, or bombs, I should say, but picked bomb flowers. You got five bombs. Throw them or roll them to blow up even hard objects. Should I start? Whatever. If you run out of bombs, just find some more and fill the bag back up. If you got a bomb flower, press B to put it in the bag. Don't forget. That bag can hold up to 10 bombs, so if you run across bomb flowers, be sure to fill up the bag. Yeah, guys, that is actually one really good uh, addition they added into this game. One that really could have been used very well in the older games is you pick up bomb flowers, and he puts the active bomb flowers into his bag, and apparently the link in this game actually knows. Oop, can't do anything with that one. Actually knows how to put out bomb flowers. Look at this. You can actually get them out, and they don't light themselves immediately. Unless you put them back down, you can always pick them back up. Put it back in your bag. When you hear that little thing, that just means, well, it's back. Uh, I guess let's jump onto here. Um, I guess we'll make this a slightly shorter episode than usual, guys. Luckily, I don't have to do too much cutting. I'm gonna have to put that, find that video clip and put it in there. It's gonna suck if I forget that. I got this little central area over here. Oh god, no, no! Ooh, almost got them all. And this heart's okay. We got a, some rubies out of it at least. Uh, so we got some stuff here. We got a save point. Not that I'm gonna need it, but yeah, at least we got some for now. Uh, so guys, I guess for now this has been Beta Knights, but let's play Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword. Uh, in the next episode, we head deeper in the temple. Um, if I do this right, we may be able to get the temple done by next episode. Uh, not sure about the boss battle. Let's give or take a little, but we'll see. I mean, you never know. Uh, so for now, guys, uh, I guess I'll be catching you next time. Have a good night, y'all. Catch y'all next time. Hope you liked it. Bye-bye.